I'll go ahead and introduce the next speaker, who is the chair of FIG Young Surveyors Network. He will tell us about identifying the relationship between land management and community development. Also, kindly look at the participant handbook that was sent by email to take a look at the bios for our facilitators. Let's all welcome Young Surveyors Network Chair, Dr. Kwabena Asama. Over to you, Kwabena. Yes, thank you very much, Angela. Um, good day and good evening, everyone. And um, as Angela mentioned, I'm Kwabna Isiyama, the chair of FIG Young Surveyors Network. And in my daily life, professional life, I'm a lecturer and researcher at the Leibniz University of Hanover in Germany. Um, come, can we put up the Mentimeter for the first one? So this, um, this aspect is going to look at a self-assessment, talking about um, the, identifying the relationship between land management and community development. Now, land management and community development are two terms or areas that are so multifaceted and broad that um, almost every discipline or every part of a discipline has its own way of looking at it. So in this, in this uh, um, presentation, we're going to look, it's going to be a sort of interactive one through Mentimeter to talk about where each person falls. And so in, um, we have a, a lot of aspects of the surveying discipline, which um, are non-exhaustive, but then I have a, a, a list over here. So each person can, talk, can uh, pick the area that um, they identify most in their daily life, whether it's work or school. And you can pick as many as possible because we want to know, we want to have a, a quick uh, and overview of, of, of our participants today. Again, if you don't know how to get here, please just log on to www.menti.com and type in the code that you see on top of your screen, Okay, so um, the, Cam, can we have the, um, the, the overview back up so that we can see who is where? Just a second, sorry. Got it. Great, thank you very much. So it looks like cadastral surveying is 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 way ahead in this uh, in this game. So that sort of gives us this sort of gives us an overview of who of of who we are over here and what uh, kind of broad um, area uh, or broad uh, spectrum of the profession we are dealing with. So we'll go ahead. So the the, the for the next questions. There, there's no right or wrong answer. You just have to tell us what you think about it. So, um, Cam, can we have the next one?
um, the next question. Yes. Okay, great. So, um, as I mentioned, community development is a very, very broad area. And in relation to land management and land administration, uh, or in relation to land uh, itself, from your point of view, which is which of these words are more closely related to community development? And so you just um, select which one you think um, gets there. And I think that's already been done. And it looks like for most people, sustainable development is uh, most related to community development. And then going down from there with bottom-up approaches, land management administration, food security and pro-poor land administration, which is quite interesting because um, for most, uh, for in, in, in general, when you look at community development, it looks at the um, social development of the community, economic and then environmental uh, from a bottom-up approach. And very much so our VCSP looks at bottom-up approaches. So these two um, areas very much coincide with the bottom-up approaches that we're looking at in land management and land administration relating to SDDM and the like. So um, can we go to the next question, the answers for the next question, Cam? Yes, so in this one also, which of these land management challenges do you find around you in your community? So just also select um, the one that you, you think um, you see around you within your own community. Okay. We're still getting some numbers here, so I'll just wait for a few seconds and then um, I will go on. Okay, so we have about 75 respondents for this one. And um, it's almost tied between um, slums and poor infrastructure and land tenure security. And um, we, we can also see that these, especially something like slums and poor infrastructure is something that we can immediately see in our surroundings. And also given our uh, backgrounds, which most uh, we can see were from um, cadastral surveying. And so land tenure security would also be important to us. But then uh, this, is, this is to say that looking at this overview, all these um, land management challenges are actually connected to each other in the sense of, um, uh, in the sense of sustainable development and community development and um, land management and land administration form the basis for uh, the, the tackling of most of these challenges. So we just had 10 minutes for this interactive se session. So I'll just move back, uh, give the floor back to Angela for us to continue with the presentation. Thank you very much.